This time on Air Arms TV, I'm back out on the Colleton farm after those wily rabbits. Another one on the left. On the left. In the last episode, me and David hunted this property and the rabbits just kept getting the jump on us. It's time to get serious and get the job done for the farmer. All right, well, we are back at you and back at it. Man, if you saw the last episode with David and me, we hunted high, we hunted low, and we just couldn't get these rabbits right. They kept on eluding us. Running here, running there, running everywhere. And we really battled. The farmer said, no, that's not good enough. He wants us to come back at you and get the job done. So here we are. I've come out a few times since that hunt, um, just to scout the area. I've noticed there are certain hot zones and each hot zone has a much better way to approach it. The last time I was coming in blind, I probably should have done more scouting and uh, was the result of being busted over and over again. But now that I've managed to scout the area, I've identified some really good approaches. So, well, hopefully my scouting pays off. We get enough time to be able to take that shot be unseen right until the moment and uh, get a whole lot of these critters down for the farmer. Get the job done and fill up the pot. So let's get hunting. That should be right over the storage. Yeah. I saw them right from the top, man. I knew, I knew we were gonna get them right here. And we had the perfect, perfect cover, man. Yes, two rabbits down to start the day. Let's go, let's go see them. You know what they say? You gotta love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> man, that was so cool. I've been planning that stalk for a long time in my head. And I knew that little alleyway was gonna be the perfect setup. Two down to start the day, baby. Awesome. All right, here he is, rabbit number one. Check that out. Oh, nice. You can see that's a lung shot and a nice teenage one. So he's gonna be really good for the pot. And I think the other one is just over there. So come, let's go check him out. Man, I tell you, I can't believe how many holes there are here. There's just holes everywhere and there's a lot of rabbits. But uh, to be able to get two of them before they dive into their holes, I'd say it was pretty, pretty cool to be able to pull it off. And this one wasn't far off as well, just about to get in there. So, whew, another good one. Look out, oh, look at this one. Nice and fat, big, fat rabbit. Look at that, that is gonna be some good eating. Look at that, let's see the, the shot. Oh nice, that must have been a sponge shot right there. You can see how he just folded over. That is super cool, man. I tell you, we've got the perfect rest from up there. We're able to just sneak over the top and get a chance. You know, if they just see you long enough, they bolt into the hole. So we managed to get two down. What a way to start the day. We're just about to head up over the hill. I know of another paddock there, and I'm sure we'll find some more rabbits. So let's do it. 
What a great start to the day. We're off to the next spot in search of a whole lot more of these little critters. Alright, he should be just over there in the long grass, but uh, it was long grass uh, the last time I saw him, he almost disappeared. So he should be just over here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> exactly where I thought he'd be. There it is. Awesome, look at that. Another nice fat rabbit, second rabbit of the day. Well, we shot two in the field down the bottom, but second guard rabbit, so. That is super cool, they've lined themselves up along the edge here because they know they can dive into safety. So these little critters are super sharp on this property, man. You have to be pretty sneaky and oh, another one down. So let's keep hunting. A bunch of rabbits down already and the day is still young. We have plenty hunting still to go and it looks like my plan is coming together. So if you guys watched the last episode, you would have seen that I was hoping to get a chance to get on to the S510 Tactical, but my son David was too much into it and you would have seen that, I mean, he got some incredible animals with some incredible shots. Um, we've had the most amazing time with this rifle and for the first time on AOMS TV, I am finally going to get the opportunity to use the S510 Tactical. How awesome is that, man? I've been so pumped and uh, so excited to be able to use this. As you might have seen on the range when I shot it in, it was incredible. Using my Hawk Sidewinder FFP, four to 16 by 50, and uh, what an amazing scope. It just balances off this whole setup so perfectly. Um, one of the features I pointed out last time, which is incredible, is this quick, uh, adjustment that you can make over there on the butt and readjust. So when David's shooting, obviously he's a lot shorter than me. Um, he's going to want to tuck that rifle into his shoulder and you just adjust it like that. And for me, obviously, easy quick adjustment, lock it in and there you go. So I love the cocking mechanism here. It is really cool and easy to grip as well as I've got it on full power like I always do. I want to make sure that we've got all the power we need to knock those rabbits down at 90 meters, 100 meters, whatever it is. Comes with a Bolton suppressor, which is amazing. Uh, and then just the all round tactical look. What a beautiful rifle. And I tell you what, it's doing everything I'd want it to do and then some. So anyway, without further ado, let's get out there. Let's keep hunting. The day's getting on and we're getting the job done. I know it's only a matter of time and we'll be at the next hot spot. There he is. Oh, another nice one. Look at that. Just sitting out in the open. We haven't seen that the whole day. And here he is, sitting out on the open on this grassy bank. Yeah, I think we're on a roll now. We're starting to knock them down. So this is pretty awesome. We, we, we really wanted to do something for the farmer here. So um, I think let's head on over and see if we can find some more. Let's keep hunting. Yeah, 
there's a couple of spots that I've been scouting here. So the one's just over the edge, and I know there's a couple of holes on the side. And then over the edge there and down into the gully. I know I've seen a few rabbits there. There's a bunch of wood scattered around, wood piles, lots of cover for them. So I think we're gonna try there first. If there's nothing there, we'll come back to the spot. So let's go. I can't believe the one stayed. Normally they'll bolt, all of them will bolt. <laughs> awesome, man. Let's go check them out. Oh, yeah. All right. There he is. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice biggie. Oh, man, guys. I was so happy with that shot. I tell you, that there has to be one of the best shots I've taken today, man. I've got to be stoked with that. We took it right from the top. But, uh, you know, you. You got to take the chance when you can get it. You know, if we came down the hill and got a little bit closer, you probably would have bolted. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. Another fat rabbit, and I reckon we should move on just over this little ridge here. There's another field, and no, we're gonna find more rabbits. So, let's do it. The scouting trips to this property seem to have paid off. The right approach in each area is key. But I can't get too complacent as one careless move and they are in their holes and gone. Hey guys, come check this out. Little baby turkeys, so the turkeys have started to pair off. That's why we're not hunting them. And uh, you can see a whole bunch of little babies. So let me grab this, let me show you quickly. Come check this out, this is so cool. Look at this. How cool is that, hey? Oh, that's awesome, man. Now we've got to make sure that we do some pretty good pest control with the ferrets and the stoats in this area. They're going to be targeting these little babies, so hopefully we'll, we'll get to see a couple and get a chance on them, but it's just so awesome to see how well um, the turkey flock is doing here. And uh, you can get a lot closer to them and the mothers when uh, the babies are out, so it's pretty cool to see, man. Anyway, let's keep hunting. After getting busted a couple times, I just had to find a better approach. A track that will give me really good cover right up until go time. I managed to find this really cool little pathway that's uh, got a bit more cover right alongside the brush. And uh, it runs alongside the fields as well. So um, it just seems like we're too exposed most of the time and these rabbits are picking us up. So hopefully we can get it a little bit closer. Um, I know a spot right at the other side of the farm and this is going to get us there. And hopefully we'll see them there and get a shot, so let's do it. There's three right on top of the tabletop, so they, they're real fidgety though. Let's see if we can just get to this pole over here. moving everywhere. Oh, I had no idea he was going to stop, but he managed to stop just in time for me to get a shot. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to lead on these poles here and there's these wires and some of these wires are live, so <laughs> I thought I might get shocked, but anyway, another rabbit down, so let's go, let's go get him. All right, there he is. Man, I tell you, the view from up here is absolutely stunning. We've got the ranges in the background 
and this tabletop works its way all the way to the corner of the farm and man I tell you this farm is, is a lot bigger than what you think it is when you look at it from an aerial view you know it's only 200 acres but the different nooks and crannies and hilltops and different lumber areas there's so much on this place and uh, a whole bunch of these rabbits man. and we're starting to get the job done I feel like we're starting to chip away at the mountain of uh, rabbits there are out here so work our way now back to the other side of the farm I know there's a connecting pathway we're gonna move on down see if we can get to that other tabletop and uh, hopefully there's some more rabbits there so let's keep hunting Working our way up to the top here. There's a nice little plateau right at the top. And uh, we've got a good little bushy gap just to make our way up. Check out the, the steepness of this terrain. <laughs> it's pretty damn awesome, man. You gotta love these hills out here in the country. We are gonna make our way up and over the top. Hopefully, we'll get enough cover and be able to get in close enough. But it just all depends on what that is up there, yeah. So I gotta fight our way through this stuff here. Yeah. Damn, this is pretty steep stuff. Uh -oh. Let's go. I know when we get to the top, we're gonna have some pretty good height advantage. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, here's the tabletop. We can just look over the edge and look down and see if we can see them. So. You got him? Straight down! Yes! Oh my goodness. Two down. 92 yards. And the other one must be around 94 yards. Whoa. Straight down. Oh, what an awesome, awesome hunt, man. Let's go check him out. Let's go. We've been uh, navigating these fences all day and this one's a live cattle wire and uh, we just didn't get it on camera but I've been zapped a good couple times already <laughs> but uh, yeah not uh, not the best thing all right there he is and the other one should be just there he is right over there <laughs> awesome two down uh, man I want to tell you I don't often take shots like that and uh, it was just so well set up I just had to take the shot man managed to end the day with two awesome awesome specimens one right over there let's go get him all right here's the other one check it out look at that all right another nice one this is gonna be awesome for that schnitz I've been talking about but Nevertheless, guys, we've had an awesome hunt. We're losing lights. I think we're gonna call it a day. We've had an incredible time here on this farm. The ups, the downs, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the thistles, the electrical wires, and everything else in between, and lots of rabbits eluding us, 
being able to try and get on a few and uh, here's the end result, a good way to end the day, a double rabbit down and I think we're gonna call it. So thanks guys for watching, we'll see you next time on Helms TV.